Hello everyone, welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. I'm going to be driving the Mercedes 6x6 in this video. And um, a bit of a disclaimer before uh, you download the tune if you're even thinking about downloading it. Even with what I feel like is the best that I can tune this thing, it, it's still just terrible. It, it's just way too big, it weighs too much, and it understeers like crazy. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I, I have to pull the handbrake just to make it through these corners. Although this is uh, before I finish the tune, because uh, you you can't rear-wheel drive swap the 6x6, which is kind of why I understeer so bad. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm just going to be like commenting uh, on some of these clips, because I feel like they're a bit more boring if I just post them. Uh... You'll see later, I, I have a main antagonist, you know, the uh, bone shaker, as usual. I mean, when you're racing in the A-class, you're you're doomed. You're just going to face the bone shaker no matter what. But, uh, anyways, I guess I should talk more about the 6x6. This isn't really a, a very eventful race. Uh, it has a 1,000 horsepower, weighs just under 7,000 pounds. Uh, it is all-wheel drive. And uh, in these first three clips, I have it to where 90% of the power is going to the rear four tires. And uh, that was just too much, and I didn't really realize that until the very last clip when I finally uh, put 100% to the rear. But it still understeers, so it didn't really do anything. Uh, this thing, even though this thing is terrible for racing... It is actually kind of fun to drive in a way. It just has so much power, so much torque, and it just drives through everything because it's like driving a ginormous building. Uh, let's see, I think this is the part where that scout just, yeah, that scout just rams into me. Uh, I just kind of accept it, to be honest. I figured this guy's going to destroy me. These things are really light. They're small, so, you know, I just figured he was going to leave me in the dust just wait a couple seconds and you see him run it really really wide yeah you see him go all the way out there so you see you see me pushing this thing as hard as i can trying to turn it through this corner push it through this final straight checking to make sure he can't get me and i make it it was i was so happy bro i think this was like the first race out of five races where i finally got this thing to like beat somebody So this is the race right here where we meet our main antagonist. Uh, let me get a close up. His name is like Arkees. He is the main bone shaker driver. I think there's another one in this race, but he was just really bad. I, I don't even think he uh, really gave me a battle to fight. Yeah, you see me pass him already. Uh, this this is the, the cross country track that I think a lot of people play and it it causes them to just stop playing cross country. I know it's what made me stop doing cross country because it's just such a pain. You'll see in a second why. Um, you see everybody's already in front of me. Everybody's so much lighter. They turn so much better. I think this is where we lose our first racer. They bump in with that Tacoma. I think that's a Tacoma. And it, it just makes them spin out right there. You see that bone shaker spin out. So now I'm, I'm already feeling pumped. I'm already in front of a bone shaker. That's a big achievement. So now I'm trying to push it, hoping I can catch up to these two, but they're just way too fast. And I think that bone shaker and that Tacoma got a little too close to each other. Tacoma gets pounced into the tree. So now I'm, you know, I'm extra excited. I'm in front of two guys in this ginormous skyscraper of a vehicle. Now this is the part where I was hoping that the bone shaker would mess up. He went through there pretty flawlessly. Yeah, this is usually the part where people crash and they get slowed down. This is me trying my hardest to push this thing through the corners. It just doesn't want to turn. Now you can see that the... I think it's the Tacoma that's coming up behind me. I can't remember if he passes me or not, but I know he he stays on me pretty hard. Yeah, you can see 
see how how bad it is just turning in any kind of turn. This is usually the worst part of the entire cross country right there. I thought for sure I was going to get slowed down, but I somehow got out of there. I think the Tacoma hit the wall and slowed down. But I come out with a very nice second place. This is the third race. I see uh, I pushed this guy a little too wide on accident. Uh, it wasn't really intentional. We were just pushing our cars really hard through uh, that one checkpoint and I just kind of bumped him out of it. I don't feel that bad. He is a bone shaker driver anyways. So it just gives him more of a challenge since he's driving a not very challenging car to drive. But you see me trying my hardest to turn to catch up to this ranger. He's just too fast. Uh, I'm not going to lie. The, the heart of this race, the main event, the stage, is how this bone shaker starts to catch up with me around the end. But you can just see how much this thing struggles on uh, these tighter, more turnier, um, and turnier cross country circuits. It is just a pain to drive. Um, and I mean, if you really want to test your uh, your skills with this thing, you should definitely give it a shot. But um, if you're expecting to get wins with this, you're you're just going to be disappointed. Your day is going to be ruined. Let's see. I think this Ranger's gotten so far ahead now. I already accepted the fact that I wasn't going to beat him. And now I'm just trying my best to not make too many mistakes to keep this bone shaker off of me. So we're coming up from this final lap, and I'm starting to feel relieved. I feel like, you know, hey, this bone shaker is like five miles away. He's not going to catch me. So I'm just kind of driving however I want, and I start seeing him on that map, and now I'm panicking. Now I'm thinking... Oh god, he's gonna get me, you know, he's gonna catch up with me, and I'm just gonna lose this race. I can't lose this race, you know, I push him out of the checkpoint. See, now I'm, seeing, I'm pushing this thing to its fullest. He catches up on me real, real good on that one corner right there. You see, yeah, you see me looking behind me, I'm shitting my pants right now. Coming up on the final turn in the, in the circuit hitting the handbrake hard hoping I can oversteer enough to where I can get through this corner without problems I didn't and now he's right on me yeah, I think you can hear him hitting me too but I still beat him I still got second place and I was I was so fucking happy Alright, we're coming up on the fourth and final race. Probably my favorite race out of the bunch. Um, now, in this clip, I finally put 100% of the power to the rears. I say rears because there's more than... Y you know what I'm saying. Anyways. Um, this thing still sucks. But you can see that I turn on a tiny bit better than I do in the earlier clips. Now, I, I was lucky enough to start in first place, get a bit of a head start. Uh, just pushing this thing as hard as I can. I know this um, this uh, track pretty well. So, let's see. I can't remember when they finally passed me. Ooh. What is that? That's swinging out there. I think that's the ranger. I think this ranger shoots by me. He just leaves me in the dust. I'm trying my hardest to get the uh, pass back, but he just closes off the inside of that corner. Now I realize the bone shaker's behind me. He just overtakes me in the jump. Now I'm thinking I'm getting a guaranteed third place, and then BAM! Well, I don't know. Th this 
it just made me so happy. I, I you, you can see I had to put it in slow motion and everything. It just it just made my day watching a bone shaker crash out of the race. Like I, I hate bone shaker drivers so much. That that's literally I think that's literally the highlight of this entire video. It's just watching that bone shaker crash into the wall like that. But I think uh, I just get second place. There's really nothing else that uh, happens in this race. But, you know... Uh, yeah, I, I just feel so good about that. That just makes me so happy. Oh man, I hate Bone Shaker drivers so, so much. I could probably make a 10-minute a video off of trash-talking Bone Shaker drivers. But, you know what? That That is basically the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um... If there's anything that any of you want me to drive, you know, just comment it, and uh, I'll try my best to make a tune out of it. it. It'll probably suck. I'm not the greatest tuner. The point of these videos, though, is to, uh, is to improve. And I'll see you all in the next one.